Alexa, turn on the shop lights. What is up guys? I'm here in our reptile room and I have a very special unboxing for you today. I am totally excited about it. This is one of my dream snakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing and show you guys what came in the mail. I'm excited. This is from a friend on Facebook. His name is Dylan Hine. He produces some incredible animals. And one of my good friends referred me to him. And I've seen Dylan's stuff over the years, but this is my first purchase from him. And this is a Burmese python. Go ahead and spin the box around. Some awesome business cards. If you guys are looking for blood pythons, short tail pythons, Burmese pythons, or if you even live in a state where you're allowed to keep Gila monsters and venomous, he's your guy. CBC Exotics, Dylan Hine. Go check him out on Facebook. Oh, sweet. I even got a sticker. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this girl. Nice packing job. Keypad's nice and warm. Shredded newspaper. Looks like we got some lacrosse going on on that shredded newspaper. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet snake bag. All right, if you read that, yes, this is a piebald Burmese python. 66% possible head albino female. And I am going to undo the zip tie and then I'll go ahead and show you guys what she looks like. All right, the zip tie is off. Burgundy's probably my favorite color. So this is an awesome snake bag. Perfect for the occasion. And first glance, she is stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull her out and I'll show you guys some more. Here she is. A beautiful, low white pied female Burmese python. Possible het for albino. Will we breed this girl? Possibly down the road. That's always been a dream project of mine. And now we have more space to do so. So possibly, but she will definitely be used as a educational animal for our shows that we do with local youth groups, scouts, and schools, and she's very sweet already, even after a long trip in the mail.